Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get started with the Festival of the Lost. Now, if you guys don't know, all you have to do is go to Eva in the tower. She ends up giving you a quest step. And from there, all you have to do is buy a mask from her, whichever one you want. It doesn't really matter which one you pick just because it's different burns. So if you use shotguns a lot, get the arc one. If you use fusion rifles for some reason, you get the red one or the solar one. If you get, if you use a lot of sniper rifles, use the void one, obviously. From there, once you get the mask, you're gonna get another quest step, which is a smiling mask, which essentially just means you have to go talk to Spider. Once you go talk to Spider, he ends up telling you that there's caches in the, in the haunted forest and you have to get these like ciphers, which is like, <laughs> let me tell you guys, fucking annoying, but I'll get to that in a bit. So once you accept his quest, it's going to tell you to complete a strike gambit match or crucible match. I recommend you either do like the strike on earth. I always forget the name of it, but the one with the phalanx, the really fast one, or just kill a really fast PVP. I did PVP just because I don't mind doing PVP. I actually like PVP. So once that's over with, you're going to have to go to the haunted forest and clear just the haunted forest. Uh, you have you have a good decent like what is it 15 minutes of just doing a haunted forest and it could it could be way longer it could be like up to like 20 to 25 minutes if you're really being optimal but aside, well I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what I think about it later but after you're done with that I'm pretty sure that's it um, if you guys hear clicking, I'm literally clicking through my video just to make sure that I am not telling you guys anything that's wrong. Masks upon something. Yeah, after that, you go to Eva Lamonte. I think she gives you like a chocolate or something. And then from there, you, you're you're there. You're already here. Welcome. So this is the portion of the video that's going to get pretty negative considering a lot of the game is just very disappointing in my opinion. Mostly because... Farming cipher decoders is probably the most annoying thing. Now, granted, I haven't been playing much aside from yesterday. So I didn't play much today because of a bunch of videos I've been making. But I've seen people say the nightmare nightmare hunts are good. There's like pretty much cipher decoders drop from pretty much every everything. So I've seen people say the best one is the patrols on the moon. I've actually thought about what if you what if uh, you can farm them from the the forges? Can you AFK to get uh, decoders? Because if you can, that would be a pretty pretty optimal way to get them while you're sleeping. Uh, there's just so many questions about it. Personally, me, uh, the drop rates have been pretty kind to me. I ended up getting six just from chilling yesterday. I haven't played again, like I said today, but. It's going to take you a while. I would suggest something that you don't mind running over and over. Like I wouldn't recommend doing PVP just because the matches take way too long. And if you really want to farm some of the new weapons or I say new, but they're reintroduced weapons. I think the best way would be to like do patrols. If the farming forging does work, I would highly recommend you just have your PC or PS4, what, Xbox, whatever you play on, have it on and just farm that. And then the next day you'll have a fuck ton. There's there's a few things here and there that I could tell you. But honestly, this event kind of fucking blows dicks, man. It it's, it's annoying to see that this event is all it is. It's really just like... We're reintroducing weapons that we've reintroduced last year. And what's even worse is that it's like not even you're they're reintroducing a weapon that they reintroduced last year. And what I mean by that is these are not new weapon models. These are not new weapons at all. They're just literally reskins of a reskin of a reskin. And that's pretty fucking hilarious to me because here we are. I know people are going to jump up and tell me, yeah, but they have new perks okay they're 450s dog 450s are dog shit so i don't i don't know like unless we get a 450 uh auto rifle meta that would be cool i guess but i just i don't know man I, i'm gonna, definitely gonna make another video 
reviewing some of the new weapons, but overall this event's kind of dog shit right now. Once they fix the the cipher decoder drop rate, maybe it'll be better. But even then, like the amount of stuff that you can get from the decoder chests, it's just like you can get all the masks, which is whatever to be quite honest. But it's also just legendary engrams and it's like oh dude like legendary engrams really so it's it, what's funny is that even if you get a cypher decoder you're not even guaranteed to get a weapon it's so rng based it's like not only do you have to get the cypher decoder which is heavy rng right now but then you have to get the rng to get the weapon which is also another heavy rng and then you have to hope to get a good roll on it which again another heavy rng it's like just so many so much rng on top of rng instead they could have just had all those five realistically they could have been like okay if we want players to really engage into this and this i would have hated this too but this was probably this would have been the probably the best way to farm it the best way would have would have been to however many levels you can get up to equals another another uh box so let's say or every two levels i don't know so my first time uh i'll probably have the video up right now but my first time running it literally like the first time me and the me and the, a group of randoms went up to like level nine or some shit so it should start off with like okay once you get up to whatever the pinnacle level is i think it's seven seven should already be like maybe what three or four extra boxes and then from there like each extra level is just an extra box coming on top of that and i know people would have been like yeah but people would have been like farming that like crazy because they would have gone up to like level 15 level 16 and to me it's just like isn't that the point though like to play the activity that is in it like i think that would have been a great way to like really give us something to farm for and actually make us try to make like have better times so that way we can get more drops instead of like now where people are just afking the actual activity because that's better because once you get enough cypher decoders you really don't need to go high like to level nine or seven or whatever because honestly all you really need is five cypher decoders just afk until the time runs out you don't even have to kill the boss just kill yourself and then go up to the boxes and open the boxes so bungie congratulations you made an event where people it's it's more viable to not play the activity you know how hilarious that is dude just i i swear dude if i was on that team and they're late they, they told me like oh we're planning on doing this i would have been like that's a dumb idea if anything reward players for getting to another level in the actual forest itself and this is coming from a guy who hates the haunted forest i fucking hate it but it would have been better if let's say after the seventh level four boxes four extra boxes or three extra boxes and then each level after that is extra and i don't know i know people are gonna be like yeah but people would have been able to farm that like within a few days and i don't really think that's how people work like let's say let's say me personally if i ended up getting really good rolls I would immediately go for like the bread and butter rolls, the, the rolls that I think I would love. From there, I would go for the niche rolls, the niche ones that I would be like, I wonder how this would work. People don't just, well, most people don't just, oh, I got this weapon, cool, I'm done. And then that's it, they give up. Most people, once they get the weapon they want, now they start either wanting to use it, which means they're just probably gonna go back into it, or they'll probably go for niche, niche rolls, like, roles that a lot of people wouldn't go for but hey you might never know that's the beauty of it well i mean with sunsetting probably people wouldn't do that because why waste your time quite honestly but yeah this uh this event's dumb uh whoever designed the cypher decoders you really fucked up uh, instead of just putting another material quote on quote instead of putting another material you could have just literally just been like oh yeah uh each level after level seven gives you an extra box and you could have put it a, a triumph over it. Like how, what's the highest level you can go up to? Or if you reach level 12, you get some, it's just so much better options than literally just putting a cypher decoder 
that already has, and apparently this has a drop of a Umbral Ingram, which if that's the case, I would have had like 12 or 15 yesterday because that's how much Umbral Ingrams I had by the end of like my whole run. Because if you guys don't know, I was doing my weeklies yesterday and I'll show you guys a video of it right now. I did all of that, all of those bounties worth of stuff and I only got six, no, no, not even six, four. I ended up getting four and that's, and that's one with the free, the free one. So personally, Bungie, I don't know what to tell you, dog. I personally, I like my idea a lot just because it in incentivizes people to actually go for better times and build, make, make actual builds for Haunted Forest. You know how cool it would have been to be like, all right, cool. I'm actually going to try to go for a really cool time instead of me casually getting a good run. And then later, literally the next day, hearing that it's better to just not do the actual activity and just wait for it to end to just get the boxes. It's oh, man, dude, it's just one thing after another. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Personally, like I said, it's just it's disappointing. It's very disappointing. That this, is, that this is the viable option. The viable option, the viable option is to just AFK until the timer runs out and then go to the boxes and that's it. And again, it this could have been like not even a problem if it was just something you get in the game. And I'm not even asking like I wanted a drop from every run because people could have just done AFK or AFK and then get the box at the end. Instead, you could have incentivized incentivized people to actually run the activity as far as they can. And like you just drop the ball and that's literally all all I ever think about these days is just like this is this was dropped the the, the ball was dropped on this one. And I I've said that so many times this year. It's oh my god, dude. So that's pretty much it. I'm definitely going to have a review of the whole activity once like, what is it? Like a week before it ends. And then after that, uh, Beyond Light, I think, comes out. So that's going to be cool. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this whole, th <laughs> this whole thing. I personally just disappointed at this point because uh, just, dude, don't even get me started on the, the weapons. Like... Uh, if you guys don't know, I like Astrocross. So he's a really cool content creator. He's one of my favorites. But in his video, he actually said something really cool that really resonated with me. Is He said that since 110s are getting a buff, they should have re reintroduced a 110. And that's a great idea. You know how cool it would have been for them to reintroduce like a random 110 to the game? You know how awesome that would have been? Uh, imagine them reintroducing Duke but like with a Halloween thing and new random roles. I know people would have lost their shit in a good way because Duke is unfortunately getting sunset. Duke would have been a really good weapon to reintroduce right now. Instead, we got two two weapons from last year that were reskins of two weapons already. And actually, Horror's Least is like a reintroduction of a reintroduction because that shit came out like two, two three years ago. I, I'm I'm not trying I'm not I'm not really trying to like be this negative, but it's it's hard not to be when this is the stuff like this is really it, dude. Like th there's nothing else. Like what is there really? Please explain it to me. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I I'm not excited to post this just because <laughs> it's pretty negative, but apparently negativity sells well. So. Why am I tripping about it? Again, uh, Bungie, I I don't genuinely like to shit on you, but you make it hard not to because this could have been an easy W. Just incentivize people to play the activity instead of just AFKing until the timer runs out so they can get the rewards. Like, this could have been a really positive thing for the community. Like, oh, I went up to level 12. Oh, really? How'd you do that? Oh, we were running this build. We were running that build. We had two hunters and a warlock, or we had two titans and a warlock, or two titans and a hunter. Uh, we could have we could have been throwing out builds like crazy, but now it just kind of turns out to one of those things where it's like, oh, it's very, dude. I'm more disappointed than angry, quite honestly, 
because in my video i explained i am not expecting anything from this event and i'm not disappointed quite honestly i actually i oversold it because i thought we were going to get a new assault rifle i was wrong wow but yeah i'm gonna stop talking now so let me know in the comments below what you guys think if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support i have a bunch of content coming out this week hopefully next week but i'm not too sure but yeah i will talk to you guys later